Hi everyone, it's Susie from Soymates of Georgia. Um, I'm wearing this shirt <laughs> that Alex ordered because Alex and I run a lot of 5Ks and sometimes when they ask for a team name, we'll put Soymates of Georgia. So um, this is one of the shirts. It's okay, I think it needs some color. There's, let's see, I think there's a strawberry in the back. Um, so, so anyway, that's why I'm wearing this. Um, so uh, back to gardening, um, I realized when I got back from California that I'm usually putting tons of neem oil on my cucumbers, I'm trying to get ahead of the pests, uh, worms, and I haven't had to do that this year. So this video is all about why I have not had to um, use neem oil, which is natural and it's fine. It's just you have to spray it a lot and if it rains, it washes off. So um, this is why I think I haven't had to spray it this year. Okay, so the reason I have not had to use neem oil this year so far is because of all the companion plants that I put in. Um, they've really helped to distract the bad bugs and deter them from destroying my fruit and the vegetables. So um, I'm gonna show you all the companion plants that I put in this year. Okay, so here I have some cherry tomatoes and my cucumber. And you'll notice this basil, which has taken a beating from some bug, but the cucumbers are being left alone. This is the one I just harvested a bunch of big cucumbers from. Um, this basil here is also uh, doing really well. It's gone to flower and it is distracting um, the bad pests. And I, I suppose because the smell or the taste, I did so much research that honestly, I can't remember what it was for each companion plant, but um, this is uh, rosemary. So all the buckets that have the peas and the beans have a huge thing of rosemary. Now, this rosemary, I try to pick it and um, cook it the other day and it did not taste that good but then I realized that this because of the rosemary this is why my peas and beans are being left alone and it's powerful it's pungent um, another thing is that I have some lemon um, balm here I have some sage so these are all companion plants that are helping my peas and beans being left alone so down here is a marigold <laughs> This poor thing really took a beating. Uh, so I have some more seeds growing. But um, again, even though this looks terrible, um, it has kept pests away from my beans. And so you'll also see over there a huge thing of rosemary. There's a marigold deep in there. Uh, over there too, huge thing of rosemary. Again, it's just distracted all the bad pests so that all this can grow. And I just harvested tons of beans. Uh, they were delicious. Here's another companion plant, Greek oregano. So it looks gross. It has yellowing of the leaves. I would not eat this, but apparently it is distracting the bad bugs and um, everything is that I wanna grow is growing really well. Um, in here, I have some okra and I saw, oh, there's one. First okra. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it right there. See? Okay, so this year I planted a lot of okra so that I can actually have a meal. Last year it was more of a snack. Um, over here is an eggplant. Um, and I have, uh, let me smell what this is. Some kind of oregano. Um, so this, hmm. Um, I should actually probably eat this, but anyway, it's distracting um, the pests. Here's some rosemary. The one thing I have to say that is not good about the companion plants is I know I put some parsley or something else in here and I could not tell what was a weed and what was a companion plant. Obviously, I think these are weeds. <laughs> nope, maybe not, they smell good. So that's the only thing that uh, has distracted me is not being able to pull the weeds from the um, herbs and the companion plants. Oh look, here's a soil mate. See that worm? Oh. I just grab him oh, and put him in the pot. There you go. 
Do your thing, soil mate. <laughs> okay, going back to the okra, I forgot to show you the companion plant for here is parsley. So there is well, like five things of parsley all around and that will help keep the pests away from my okra so I can enjoy that. And then I just remembered, um, this was thyme, not oregano. Um, I think it's like a lemon thyme, it smells delicious. So I have to think of a place to put my herbs so that I can actually enjoy them. But right now they're doing a great job um, with controlling the pests in the garden. Okay, so here's some parsley that I've planted underneath this um, pepper plant. I just harvested a bunch of yummy yellow peppers from this. Um, and it's 91 degrees in Georgia, so it's a hot day. So look, things are looking tired. But this is some nasterium, uh, nasterium flowers that um, help deter bad bugs. And check out this garlic. So this, it's very strong and is a huge deterrent to bad bugs, which have um, kept my eggplant here um, healthy and producing. I know it looks a little tired, but it is super hot right now. So um, these are some more companion plants that have helped increase production and I have not had to use neem oil. Okay, so um, I hope you like my little tour of companion plants. I am just really impressed that I've not had to use the neem oil. I was spraying constantly last spring. So planting the nasterium, the parsley, the marigolds, the garlic, uh, the basil, uh, rosemary and thyme in the right places with the right plants have really, really helped. And um, they have distracted bad bugs, but also I feel like the garlic helped with any fungal issues. I, I've had less of that as well. So um, all around, um, I'm very happy with how the companion plants have turned out and I will definitely do this again next spring and uh, I'll have to research companion plants for my fall plants. Um, but anyway, um, thanks so much for joining me today um, and have fun in your garden, everybody. Bye.